Hello, and welcome back to Rabbit Hill. Thank you very much for the support on the first part of the series. Uh, it's been overwhelmingly positive, really. I'm very surprised so many people want to see a part two. But here we go. This is part two. So, my phone's on charge. Um, I guess I gotta wait for that. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, right, I was gonna go uh, and speak to the guy behind the door in the, uh, the Nissan Specialist. So we right-click, right? Yeah. So let's go back down here. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, check up on him, really. And, um... See if he knows about the body. I think he mentioned that the electrician had disappeared, not died, so maybe he doesn't know. Uh, okay. Right, yeah, we heard the music on outside. In fact, I think it was mentioned on the message, wasn't it? Let's try the door. Go away! I'm not opening this door! Dan? W what? That is your name, right? H how do you know my name? I think your boss tried to ring you. He left an answer phone message in the cafe. Oh, I know what you're doing, but it's not going to work. If he really wanted to ring me, he would have called the phone in here. He tried. He said he couldn't get through. What? Wait. Shit, the phone line's dead. What did he say? Something about keeping the radio down. People are trying to sleep. Oh yeah, because that really matters now, doesn't it? Besides, I'm not turning this down. It drowns out the whispers. Whispers? What are you talking about? Can't you hear them? They're trying to make me do things, but I won't listen. I can't hear them now. He's just freaking out. There has to be a reasonable explanation for what's going on here. Probably not. <laughs> the sooner I can get hold of the police, the better. Right, okay. Well, he didn't talk about what I thought he was going to talk about. Uh, can we try again? Go away! I'm not opening this door. Fair enough. Um, right, so what do we got to do now? I just... I guess we just gotta wait for the, the phone to be charged? I mean, we've still got this salt, we've got this juice drink, the IC book. Did I actually take a look at this book before I don't- Ah, no, I didn't see this before. Right. Okay, um... Let's see. So this was a little kid's book. Uh, okay, let's just go through all these. Alright, so... You saw a common poppy. Have we seen a poppy? I don't think so. Do we need to see a poppy? Maybe we need to find all of these things. This game is very much like Barrow Hill. We might be doing something with uh, herbs and flowers and stuff like that. Okay. Cow parsley. Yep. He saw it. I saw it. Or maybe that was me writing that down. And I've just got childlike handwriting. I'm not sure. But yeah, cow parsley. Um, I think that was locked off for some reason though. So I can't pick any of it up. I think we need an item to get it. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, anything else? The debit card? Still don't know what to do with that. Car keys don't seem to be used with my own car, and I can't go back there, so yeah. Anything else in the wallet? No, still this photo, of course. Oh, after finding the body in the toilet, I really fear for Kate's safety. I have to call the police. Yep, yeah, okay. I guess we can check on the phone, right? I mean, let's, let's just leave. <laughs> he has such a strange sort of walk, a strange gait. Um... Yeah, so... I think I'm hearing the whispers now. That can't be good. Uh, okay, let's go towards the cafe. Back up to the motel room. Um... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's been a couple days since I last played this game. What was the code? I want to say 637. Let's hope it's 637. It is! Okay, brilliant. Right, uh, I guess, yeah, let's just check the phone. If this doesn't work, we can probably just explore the woods. There's probably stuff I've, I've missed. Oh, at last! The phone should be charged enough for me to find reception and call the police. Ah. Uh, if I can just get two bars of reception, that should be enough for me to make a call. I see. So, <laughs> it's a Nokia with a K. I like it. All right. So, one bar of reception right now. So, yeah, still only one bar of reception here. Looking for two. Okay, let's see if we can find a screen where we get two bars of reception. Sod's Law says it's going to be in the middle of that dark cave, right? In fact, that's that's maybe where I'm going to go first. Yeah. So, over here. Into the woods. You'd think it would get worse out here, but it doesn't seem to, at least not yet. Still can't go that way. Yeah, let's head up to the cave. And in we go. Right. Well, I, I don't have two bars, but I, I've, I've got one, still. Remarkably. Uh, 
Hmm. Is it just going to be like a two-bar screen, or is there somewhere on a screen where I get two bars? I mean, do I have to walk around and find this? That might be the case. I don't know. So maybe let's just walk. Let's just walk slowly through these screens. I think just in case there is just like a a certain place I do have to be standing. I may have already walked past it. Wait! 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 No! Hang on! Hang on! Yeah, in the corner. I've got to be in the corner. Okay, hang on. Let's try this. There you go. Right. Great. Finally. <laughs> Hello. Emergency service operator. Which service do you require? Police. I'll just connect you now. Great. Come on. Come on. Hello. Where are you calling from? Yes, uh, I'm at Rabbit Hill Service Station. What is the nature of your emergency? A man has been murdered, and now my wife has gone missing. Whereabouts is this happening? I, I just told you. Rabbit Hill Service Station. Okay, calm down, sir. Are there any weapons involved? What? I don't know. I guess so. We're sending somebody out to your location. Thank you. And please hurry. I wonder how long it will take them to get to this place. It sure does seem remote. Hmm. Maybe I'll take another look around the engineer's room. Wasn't he an... Oh, he could be an electrical engineer, I, I suppose. So, yeah, okay. If I can find any clues to his death, then maybe I can find out what's happened to my wife. It's the fox again, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully it's not my wife barking from the nearby woods. So, back we go. No reception. No, I can't seem to get that little thing up again, so I guess we're not really worrying about that anymore. Let's go back to the door, uh, to the cafe, up there. Uh-huh. I'm glad they included this right-click option, but it doesn't work everywhere, it seems. You can't right-click this door, for instance. You do have to actually walk up to it. But um, right-clicking on exits, no problem. Six, three, seven. Okay, um, so, anything on TV? Still nothing on tele on the television by the looks of it. Um, the menu, I assume that hasn't changed. No. I'm wondering if we do have to like order something. Maybe from Dan, although no. No. No, I don't know. Let's uh let's actually try the tablet. I'm wondering if he's received an email. Okay, so sent that was the one to his uh his wife, called wife. Okay, still no emails. Business is not exactly booming for this guy, apparently. Um, the internet? We don't... Nah, we can't go on another website, I don't think, and these aren't... Nah, these aren't like hyperlinks or anything. We can't go to anything. Okay, so... Not too much. Can I add my... No, I, I can't add my phone to the docking station again. It hasn't run out of battery again. Something to do with the painting? This vent up there? I don't know. Nothing on the chair. Nothing under the bed. I don't think I'm going to be finding anything else, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Was that a sprinkler up there? A smoke alarm, maybe? A light? No. I, 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 I don't know. I actually have no idea. Is that... Oh. Oh! Sirens, right? Yes! I can hear a siren! Sounds like a police car's here! Okay. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Um, let's, um, let's go back. Let's go meet them. Show them the body. Sorry, are they not here? They must be here somewhere. Or maybe not. Maybe they're parked up by the vans. Oh, shit! Huh? Oh god. <laughs> Fucking crows. No, no, no! Why is this happening to me? You selfish bastard. Look at him! It's happening to him! Really? Okay. That's a bit weird that it suggests that. I might as well do it. So, let's call this... <laughs> Game save. Uh, yes. Just in case. Right. Can't interact with the crows. I can, however, interact with the body. <laughs> Shoo! 
And they do. Right. That bird just attacked me! I have a life bar in this game? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh. Can't seem to move. Okay, let's interact with the body. Oh, he's coming back at... Oh, God damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh! Playtime! Playtime's over. What is this? Oh, oh, right! We got a little first person section. Let's shoot the crows. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, bloody hell. You weren't even lining that shot up right. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Drag your hand back over here, mate. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. One bullet left. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Maybe this is why the game save is recommended. <laughs> Reload, you idiot. Why did he bring a gun anyway? This is... Well, whatever. Right. Enough is enough. It's time to get some straight answers out of Dan. <laughs> We're threatening him with the gun. Uh, let's have a look at the body. Have you got any more ammo? That was so strange. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from this game, but okay. Uh, most of the crows are dead. Let's let's go speak to Dan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this game's full of surprises. I gotta say, that was nothing like Barrow Hill. Uh, okay. Dan. <laughs> we really need to talk. Dan? No, no! I can't do this! I can't stop it! Dan, are you okay in there? It's coming! It comes for me now! Dan, open this door! It's right outside! No! No! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! What's going on in there? No! Yeah, Darth Vader, you know. Dan? Dan! Shit! Still locked then, yeah? Okay. Sounded like the window smashed. I know there's a window around the back, so I suppose that's where we're going next. Something broke through the window and killed him, I think, maybe. Uh, yep, that way. Around to the motel. All the way to the other side. Oh yeah, broken glass, there you go, there you go. Let's take a look at the window. Or not. No, 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 we just walk right in. <laughs> Shards of glass everywhere. Okay, where did he go? Was he dragged out of here? We got spilt tea. We have a laptop, a few books up here. Uh, another door. I suppose this would be the door that would lead back to the, um, the sort of service station area, right? Ah, ah. There you go, I guess I can use it now. Brilliant. Anything in the bin? No? No smoking? A phone! Right. A radio? Okay, let's just go from left to right. Let's have a look at the radio. Doesn't look like he's here. A, po a pony. Nice. Uh, okay. Can't really get through. Uh, no, that's odd. I heard the radio working fine before Dan disappeared. Ah, so whatever took him away affects the radio signals, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, right. So the no smoking sign, I suppose. No pie in this area. <laughs> oh, actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> no pie in this area, fair enough. The phone, okay. Let's get some more police here so they can be killed by crows. Oh no, alright, oh, yeah, of course, the phone is dead. Yeah, just like Dan said, he wasn't lying. Okay, can't have a look at the calendar, but I'm sure it's much the same as the one that was in the cafe. The door! Oh, okay, it's locked. Where would that even go? Don't know, it's locked, okay, so... Not getting through there. The laptop, isn't that the next thing to have a look at? It seems so, let's have a look at the laptop. UK Auto Parts. Sure. I really do like this game, it's uh, it's very good for a free game. 
Oh wow, that's uh, that's so pixelated. I could barely see that. That's probably a real website, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't think I can really interact with this. No. Okay, let's get a customer record. That might be more interesting. Maybe it's um somebody who got screwed over that's coming back for revenge. But no, can't connect to the server. Okay, camera camera feed. Here we go. We can connect to the camera. Okay, so, um, what do we got? Exit, don't want to exit. Live cam, playback, change camera. Oh, oh, right, yeah, of course. There's only the two, and the second one was having issues, so let's play back, I guess. I want to see the police officer getting killed. Looks like the forecourt camera has picked something up. Oh, right! <laughs> okay. I like how the crow came out of the side of the laptop there, but um yeah. That's what we're dealing with. It's not a big rock. I, I don't know if I like that or not. I'm a little bit disappointed in a way. I kinda wanted that to be a rock. Let's let's watch that again. No, don't delete it! Oh no, that's not the delete button. Play playback, playback. Oh, you only get you only get the one chance to see that. But okay, I've got it recorded. Um, yeah, all right. Is it a is it a spirit of Rabbit Hill or something like that? Maybe. I guess that's all she wrote, and we can't like no, we can't play back. We can't play back on the other camera. So okay, let's exit. And I guess that's it. So yeah, let's come out of that and let's take a look at the spilt tea. What a crime that is. Dan. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Room. Room number? Room numbers for emergency, I'm assuming? Can we, like, move that out from under the T? Because, it, you know, the ink's probably still there. No, 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 no. Okay, room one, five... I don't know, are they all three digits? If they're all three digits, then I might be able to work out room three. Room one, maybe not, but, um... Three, one... Seven, maybe? 319? Oh, no, no, hang on. There's there's letters as well, aren't there? Right, okay, that's probably what we've got to do next. Let's try and get into room three. I think that's where that fraud was staying. Yeah, the, uh, the psychic. So, 31-something. Okay, all right, let's... I guess... Well, it's probably easier to go through the window, isn't it? And we're also, I think, looking for a key to get through that other door. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm quite liking this. So, room three over here. So it's three one something. I'm going to try three one seven to begin with. Okay, three one seven. No. Okay, three one. Could be nine. Hmm. Well, maybe three one X. Yeah, yeah, three one X, because that looks that did kind of look like it might have been the the corner of an X. I guess not. Okay. Maybe there's more than three digits. I certainly hope not. Three one one. Maybe he just I don't know. He did it slanted. No. Can't be six. Won't be two. Won't be eight. Could be three again. I guess. Three one three. 313, okay. And it looks exactly like the other motel room. Well, I suppose it should. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do we got here? We've got documents. We have a journal. Something, I guess, clothes on the bed. We have a jacket. No phone charger in here. Still nothing on the bed. Uh, that's it, okay. Um, let's start on the left and work right, shall we? So, jacket. Nice jacket. Is that it? Just nice jacket, apparently that's fine. Yep, cool. Um, journal. Okay. Uh, how long is this going to be, I wonder? Just give me a moment. If you want to read this yourselves, by all means, just pause the video. I'm going to see if there's more pages. There's more pages. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Right, I think I'll be reading this a little later on. There's a lot of reading, okay. Interesting. Some pages have been torn out. Huh. Okay. Right, I'll come back to that in a moment, actually. Uh, I'll probably edit it out, but I will actually read that in a moment. But we have documents here as well. Jack White exposed as a fraud. The TV show that has spooked millions with its footage of hauntings and poltergeists has been exposed as a fake by one of its own producers. The producer sensationally claimed that the public are being deceived by showmanship, dramatics, and props. He accused the show's star and founder, Jack White, of pretending and acting based on myths and folklore of the area to back up his stories. Yeah. What an arsehole. Right. Jack, here's the satellite image of Rabbit Hill Wood that you requested. Right. Okay. What am I looking for? I... That? Look at that shadow. I did actually see the word tower a couple times. Is that the tower? I haven't seen a tower, but then I haven't really explored the woods fully. Right, right. I guess that's a drawing of it. Huh. Okay. And there's some more. Oh, actually, I think we'd read this before. But certain parts are highlighted, like William Coney. As his wealth from the mines grew, a community of treacle miners settled here to work the mines. And a tea stain. Okay, alright. Uh, Dear Mr. White, After initially looking up the history of Rabbit Hill, no additional information came to light. Then I looked up William, William Coney, and it would appear that Rabbit Hill has a far more sinister history than the council portrays. Maybe they thought it would not be good for the tourism trade. According to the records, as William Coney's wealth grew from the mines, the power went to his head, and the workers became nothing more than slaves. Apparently he built a tower overlooking the mining settlement, probably as a form of intimidation, and a show of his power or wealth and position uh, within the small community. He ordered random women from the settlement to be brought to his tower for his satisfaction. This led to an uprising and the story goes that the slave sealed William in his own tower and left him to rot. Hope this helps. Yours, Jonathan Christie. That's quite a story. So that figure that seemingly stole my wife, could that be the spirit of this William Coney maybe? And that's the end of the documents. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm just going to go over this journal again, all right? Right, okay, so after giving that a more thorough read, it's possible that Jack White isn't here because he's actually at the tower right now. The tower that he's actually been to several times. I think he's actually sort of set up a little bit of a base camp there. Um, he mentioned an EMF meter. He mentioned that nobody knows about the existence of this tower. I think it's only him that really knows about it. There is an old man who lives at the farmhouse, though, the farmhouse that's sort of uh, locked off from us right now, that's very, very uneasy about talking about William. So maybe he knows something? But yeah, he did mention an EMF meter, one that broke, and one that I think he had spare in his, uh, in his van, I believe. So probably one of the two vans that we saw parked outside. And I think he mentioned there was something in the jacket pocket. I wonder... Okay, right, what I'm actually going to try and do now is I'm actually going to try and go into the woods. Or that now I've got the alarm fob. Maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. Is this just an alarm fob or do I need to find a key as well? I mean... Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just go back to those two vans. Apparently there is a spare EMF meter inside one of them. Over here. <laughs> Past the dead police officer. Okay. Now, oh, right, okay. <laughs> if I had to guess, I thought it'd be the right one. But it's over here, apparently. Does that mean we can go in? Oh, well, yeah, apparently so. Right. Yes, okay, this is going to help us find the tower, I think. EMF meter, fantastic. Anything else while we're here? Can't take the van keys, they're not there. I think that's it. No, wait, wait, wait. The radio. Yeah, again, something's disrupting the signal. It's not really getting through. Or maybe that's just what 
Jack likes listening to. Hmm. Okay. So, a device for reading electromagnetic fields. Right, okay. I suppose we should just keep that out, actually. But yeah, what I was actually going to try and do... Um, I'm thinking, now that we've seen the map, and we know this, this tower exists, we, we've seen it on the map, and we've, we've learned about it from his diary, maybe we can explore the woods a little more? That's what I'm thinking. So, actually, let's yeah, let's go back here. Let's go through the woods. Uh, yeah, this way. And uh, let's go. Oh, oh shit. Oh! Who, is that Jack? Oh, no, notice this has actually gone up slightly, so... Oh, here we go, yeah. We're getting a bit of a reading off of this guy, I think. Is that Jack? Oh, no, it's maybe the other guy? Dan? Probably. I mean, yeah, you'd probably recognise uh, Jack White, so that... Yeah, that probably was Dan. Just, like, chewed up and spit out. It's not really looking too good for my wife, is it? Anyway, yeah, let's keep going. Right. Oh, we're definitely getting a higher reading. It's probably coming from the cave, right? Ah, oh, look at that! It's not locked off from us anymore, because we've seen the map, I think. Um, okay. Let's just investigate the cave, though. I want to sort of confirm my suspicion. It is going up. It's going down. It's really going down. Okay, forget my suspicion. That was wrong. I guess we've got to find where these high readings are coming from. Uh, let's try the new area. Go on. <laughs> this, this is kind of exciting. In a, in a strange way. Okay. Just sort of heading over there. Right, hang on. Okay, hang on. Is that go Did that go up or down? It went up. Okay, so we're going towards it if we head in this direction. Brilliant. Okay. What was that? We oh, we got a bush. Okay. Jesus! <laughs> uh, surprised me a little bit, honestly. Uh, goddamn fox. Been hearing you barking all night. Yeah, um... I did forget to mention, if you didn't properly read the diary, he does actually mention uh, a strange concoction that needs to be made out of several ingredients. And I'm wondering if that's why perhaps we're looking at the uh, the cow parsley. Maybe that's why we've got the salt and all these other things. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Looks like we need to find some ingredients. Um, is it just a left or right thing here? It seems to be. No other bushes I can have a look at? No more foxes to uh, disturb? I don't think so. Okay, let's keep going this way. We're definitely heading in the right direction. Okay. Oh, hang on. And that sort of spiked then a little bit. That's quite high. Maybe it's something over to the left. Ah, hang on. I'm hearing those whispers more frequently now. And anyway, look at this. We've got, some, we've got vegetation to look at. Nettles. Nettles. Okay, I assume nettles are in the IC book as well. Common nettle. Right. They are indeed. Maybe that's one of the ingredients we need to find? I don't know. They weren't actually mentioned in the diary. He mentioned he, uh, he picked up a... It was a, it, was a, it was a list of things on a scrap of paper. I guess he's still got it with him. I didn't see it. Or maybe it's down here somewhere. I don't know. Um, let's keep going. I think we're actually moving away from the highest reading we've got. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess I'll go back on myself, because I want to know what was making that spike so much, but... Okay, no vegetation here, no bushes, no foxes, no... Alright, let's keep going. At some point, we're, right, yeah, at some point we're going to end up at this area again. Um, okay, yeah, as you can see, that's really low now, so let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, and back over there. Yeah, that's our only option, just to go left. And again. Yeah. There you go! Right, it spikes right now! Shh! 
shit. Oh, Kate? Really? Oh, I swear I just saw her. Hey, we're really getting somewhere. What's that? A si it's a sign. Private property, no trespassing. Okay. I think this might be it, you know, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's follow my wife. Ah, there it is, the tower. <laughs> it exists. There really is a tower hidden in these woods. Oh, those crows. Are they going to be a problem? I've sort of run out of bullets, so I don't think I can do anything with them, really. Uh, I guess let's head towards the tower, yeah? All oh, right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a body of Jack, I guess. Is that Jack White? I know who this is. It's the man himself. Jack White. Looks like he must have dropped something when he was attacked. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, now we've got onto the second screen of inventory items. A scrap of paper. This might be it. Oh. 570. Would that be for room one, by any chance? Because I think that started with a five as well, and I'm hoping they're all three-digit codes. 570, yeah. Okay. Got a tripod over here. We can go inside the tower. There's a plinth. A crow. Um, okay. I think this is where I'm going to end this second video of Rabbit Hill, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll enter the tower and see what awaits us next time. See you then. There has to be a reasonable explanation for what's going on here. Probably not. <laughs> Let's just leave. <laughs> he has such a strange sort of walk, a strange gait. Um, yeah, so... I think I'm hearing the whispers now. That can't be good. <laughs> Fucking crows. No, no, no! Why is this happening to me? You selfish bastard. Look at him! It's happening to him! Oh! Playtime! Playtime's over. What is this? Oh, right. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Shit. Oh. Kate? <laughs> 